As a building, this building doesn't look like a library at all. Um, it's not the traditional library, which is a bit dusty and dark and where only um, academic people browse for books. No, this is a place for everybody. A lot of politicians will come here. Well, they, they had the question, uh, what is the future of the library in the internet uh, age? Uh, do people need the library? And then they come here and they see a lot of visitors. The library, first of all, is a public building. Public means, uh, in this case, that there, are, there will be books. Uh, of course, you will find all the books, all the collections about art, history, uh, etc., literature. But there will be also spaces where you will find the laptop, the computers. The aim of the library is the people within the library. Like they must have uh, access to the information within the library. Like normally that used to be just books. Yeah, but like now we are in the internet age, it's more than just books. It's also the internet, it's all kind of media. So this is not a book library, it's an information library. I started with this idea to make it transparent, very open. It has to be intimate in the heart, in the body of the building. It has to be open and you have a, I want to have overviews. So the choice that we made was to kind of bring the course at the outside but also to have like big, huge uh, air spaces within the library that people can look through. But we also use them as air ducts. So all the return air is not going to an air duct in a ceiling, but it's going through the air locks which are going up and down. And you know, that really makes it quite different than most buildings. So we have very uh, simple, robust controls. The whole building is controlled effectively. You can see the grills everywhere. That's the whole energy system. If you look around, it feels very natural. It is very natural. There's hardly any installations, any services in the building. It's done in a very simple but robust and intelligent way. So the intelligence is in the, in the design. It's not later in heavy equipment being carried in. I think for us it's all about the holistic design of this building and they wanted to create a, uh, a very special system with ventilation that comes under the floor and the air flow through openings in the floor up into the spaces. Working with Arab where all these uh, advisors, engineers for mechanical, structural, lighting and so on is, in, is gathered in one firm is helping us a lot. Us is the designer of the frame building. The lighting for the library was the icing on the cake. It really, the lighting was done such that it brings out the building much better. We created these iconic places. We made the architectural elements luminous to communicate light to the people, to, to tell the, everybody who goes here that it's a vibrant and bright building. There are the escalators, trying to see all these movements, to show it also, like uh, serpent through the building. You can look up all the floors and you have a sense of space which you normally wouldn't have in a library. Like no, most libraries are quite narrow and, and cramped. But this gives a total free space and then you look up and you see all the floors being lit. This building gives you a natural behavior, a possibility of natural behavior. If, if I had to sum up the building in one short statement, I would say it, it is the exemplar for, for social responsibility, for cultural integration and for technical innovation. And it doesn't feel like it. It feels like a building you want to be in. <laughs>